Viral, NASA finds parallel universe, story Signy Dean the 22nd of May 2020 Every time tabloids and social media dramatically mishandle a science news story, the urge to unplug the internet and plug it back in again is excruciatingly strong. If you've heard the recent claim that NASA detected a parallel universe in Antarctica, where time runs backwards, we're glad you've now clicked on this article. Strap yourselves in for the truth. Seems that for this tabloid science story, some speculative theoretical physics which might have had distant roots in plausibility was amplified for sensational reasons. University of Hawaii at Mano experimental particle physicist Peter Gorham told Science Alert. The egregious parallel universe detected nonsense started out innocently enough. The respectable new scientist magazine published a paywalled feature on April 8th discussing some anomalous results coming from neutrino detection experiments in Antarctica, and what these could mean for a speculative cosmological model that posits there's an antimatter universe extending backwards from the Big Bang. So what's really going on with these anomalous detections in Antarctica? We have reported before that the Antarctic Impulsive Transient Antenna Anita, experiment, a high-altitude helium balloon with an array of radio antennas, partially funded by NASA, has spotted a handful of instances of what seem to be highly energetic neutrinos coming through Earth. Here's why that's super weird. Neutrinos are those ghostly fundamental particles that flow through everything, barely interacting with normal matter, which makes them exceedingly hard to detect. But when produced by powerfully explosive objects in the universe, neutrinos can gain such ultra-high energies they become more likely to interact with normal stuff. Anita, flying high above the icy continent, is designed to detect signals of secondary particle showers produced as high-energy neutrinos smash into ice. But such neutrinos are supposed to come from the depths of cosmos, not Earth, since chances are good they would have smacked into something else before getting all the way through our planet. Lake, weird, physicists have been carefully working to figure out if these results can be explained with our current models of physics or have something to do with the experimental setup itself. Or if something truly wild is going on. As Gorham, who is the principal investigator of ANITA, told Science Alert, we have encountered a small number of anomalies in our data. And once we have exhausted all of the possible explanations within the standard model of physics, only then is it time to consider other ideas that push those boundaries we are really not there yet. Certainly not at the point where parallel universes are necessary. Yeah, I couldn't put it any clearer. The headline-grabbing parallel universe notion is fun. Mind-bending stuff to think about on its own. It proposes the existence of an anti-universe dominated by antimatter, stretching back in time from the Big Bang and with spatial properties inverted to those in our own universe, obeying the fundamental rule of charge parity. And time, CPT, symmetry on the grandest scale. Paper has linked this CPT symmetric universe idea with the anomalous Anita detections. Sadly, the way it was contextualized in the original paywalled article has been entirely lost in the many, many iterations of NASA found a parallel universe that have spawned over the past couple days. In this case one or more journalists have evidently moved ahead with an article which was not verified and for reasons which are not clear have ascribed research and papers to us which we never wrote and theories such as those involving parallel universes which neither we nor our collaborators hypothesized about or discussed in any publication before these results were attributed to our experiment, says Gorham. Reasons that scientific advances proceed by a more measured process through peer review and verification by other investigators. Ouch. Let's just all agree to not trust science news from tabloids once and for all. We already had that conversation this week. So there it was the dead giveaway at the end. The journalists had their own papers about this. In one or more cases, journalists have uh, 
articles, moving headlines with an article which was not verified. So my question is this, who gave the journalist the original article that wasn't verified to begin with for them to even publish this and come back with? I'm wondering because it made my mind, it made me think that somebody's feeding these journalists this to already put this out there. So when it comes to it, there's going to be a sort of a battle between who's more accurate, the journalist or the scientist. I mean, we already know through John Kerry in 2019, you know, he did that whole speech that we're in World War Zero, where it's a world, it's a war on science and common sense, you know, and that he's on the side of the scientists and because they have common sense. So the journalists having their own papers talking about a parallel universe down there, where did they get that from? Which also takes you back to that. Oh man, the anime slips my mind, but there's an anime series. And you guys probably know, you're probably screaming at me right now. There's an anime series uh, Jap that was done in Japan, um, obviously, that um, they, uh, they had a parallel universe in Antarctica. Um, I mean, these characters had to travel down there go through a certain cave and then pop on the other side there's a whole another world and you know shadow monsters and a ship that travels around with eyeballs all over it so it sees in all directions at all times and so on and so forth you know so you know there's uh there's something to that and and it seems like the journalists are probably connected to you no know, this is speculative but they're probably connected to some type of occult that has the secret or the hidden knowledge on it and uh, they're releasing it first and eventually NASA will catch up. So if you've heard that the whole there was a parallel universe, I just thought this article was interesting just because of the end there about the journalists having papers, publishing them before the scientists could even uh, verify them.